Hi everybody, I just made a live video and it uploaded twice and I tried to remove one and it removed the whole thing. And you know what? It was just such a good word. I hope that I can redo what I said, but um, it's so important. So the whole thing is this, I was getting ready, I was, I was meditating on the goodness of God, I'm getting ready to go out on a bike ride, and I sat down to put my sneakers on, and I said, you know, I get so riled up when I think of how God's children are in bondage to the lie. And when I said it, it just really made me realize how to be able to put into words God's anger. And you know, for 34 years, I was taught and I taught penal substitution that God sent his son Jesus uh, to be punished for our sin because he was angry at us and his anger had to be appeased. That is a big lie. God was never angry with us. He was angry at the sin that held his children captive. Just the same way that I was angry when I think of God's beloved children being tormented by being in bondage to a lie that God is angry at them unless they do. And that's what Jesus came to deliver us from. He came to deliver us from the lie. Jesus did, was not punished to appease God's anger. And if that's what you believe, then you have a wrong impression of God. Jesus came to reveal the goodness of God. You know, it's the revelation of the goodness of God that causes man to repent, to change the way they think about God. And God was never angry at us. He was angry at what was killing his children. You know, from the beginning of time, you know, before the foundation of the world, we were chosen in him uh, to be adopted as children. And here Satan comes along and messes the whole thing up. God wants us to know him as he is, to have an intimate relationship with him, to to run to him when you've got troubles, not run away from him in fear. God is so good and he loves us so much. Oh, praise God. You know, Jesus came to reveal the goodness of God to us. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. God is so good. And as I said before, you know, you stop and you think, about the way you think about God and then relate it to a family. You know, if your child was suffering from a disease that was killing them, would you be angry at your child for dying, for being sick? No, you'd be angry at the thing that was killing them. And that's what God was angry at. He was angry at sin. And Jesus didn't come to appease God's wrath against us. Jesus came and he took the very thing that was killing us into his own body and died it away on the tree, therefore setting people free to be able to see the truth of how good God is and how much he loves us. Well, you know, you can never, you can never redo something that was organic, but you know, this word was just so alive in my heart and I just didn't want it to be lost. God is so good. And you know, when we get a revelation of God's goodness, and how much he loves us, 
It just fills our heart with such a liberty, with such a freedom that we just want everybody to be free. So I just pray for all of our brothers and sisters that are still bound by the lie that they have to do something to be acceptable. You know, the scripture says in Timothy, study to show yourself approved unto God. Okay, we need to hear the word so that we can prove to ourselves, that we can convince ourselves that we're already approved of God. There is nothing that you could do to get God to love you any more than what he does right now. You know, the scripture says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. See, that never stopped God from loving us because he saw us as blind little children locked into a belief system that we couldn't free ourselves from. It took Christ dying away that belief system in his own body to set us free from it. Oh, God is so good. Well, listen, you have an absolutely wonderful day and let your mind just meditate on all of this goodness. Amen. God bless you.